Yeah, good day, guys. Guys, I welcome back. So we'll be talking about the preform fossa, which is also known as a small glass fossa. Okay, preform fossa, also known as a small glass fossa. Now let's move. We said that I've discussed the anatomy and applied anatomy of the piriform fossa, which is also known as a small glass fossa. Okay, now we said that um, this, this is okay, this is the piriform fossa, though. Okay, but uh, let me not bore you guys. Uh, this is the piriform recess here, right? So, this area is the area that we call the piriform fossa. But let's proceed um, to the rest of the lecture so that we get to see what we have in the lecture. Now we say that a piriform is a depression. It is broad above and narrow below. And it is the anterior part of the lateral wall of the laryngeal pharynx on each side of the laryngeal inlet. Okay. Now it is caused due to the bulging of the larynx into the pharynx. Okay. Um, Another image How about the boundaries. Um, medially, it is bounded by the uh, uh, Ari epiglottis fold, okay, and the quadrangular membrane of larynx. And um, laterally, um, it is bounded by the mucous membrane covering the medial surface of the thyroid cartilage and the thyroid membrane, okay. Now, that's the lateral boundaries of. Um, of the piriform fossa, mucous membrane covering the medial surface of the thyroid cartilage and the thyroid membrane. Okay, um, piriform fossa fold over um, the the internal laryngeal nerve. Just know that the internal laryngeal nerve lies below it. Okay, and um, how about the applied anatomy? I would say that foreign bodies lodge in the piriform fossa since it is a depression. Okay. When you are taking in some stuff like that, you could lodge in the piriform fossa, especially fish bone. Okay. Um, some of us, when we were young, we were eating fish and fish like stuck in our neck. It was not in the neck, okay? It was in the piriform fossa. Now, so that um, during removal of the foreign and bodies from the fossa, the internal laryngeal nerve could be lesioned, um, resulting to anastasia of the larynx above, above the vocal cords. And it leads towards subsequent chest infection and also um, loss of protective cough reflex. Okay, um, these are the effects of um, um, lesioning of the internal laryngeal nerve. Okay, so um, this is the anatomy and the applied anatomy of the piriform fossa. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.